All right, hey, good day, everyone. Welcome, welcome back to Satisfactory Update Seven on Experimental, um, starting in the Northern Forests. So, picking up where I left off, which was uh, basically, um, I was contemplating setting up sulfur, cotarium, and quartz mines, uh, but ultimately decided against it for a couple of reasons. So let me just uh, get out of here. Um, so I've got the uh, a normal and a impure sulfur node just down here. Ah, just there, like underneath these two tiles here. Uh, but I ran a scan for coal, and the nearest I could find is like up top over there. Uh, it'll pop up eventually. Wait for it. Wait for it. It's like, yeah, just there. Just over there. So it'll take quite a lot of time to um, sort of run concrete and belts and all that because I can't get, I still haven't been able to figure out trucks. Um, I uh, went back to the old save, tinkered with it for a bit before I set up that wire line and um, yeah, just I couldn't get it to work, so uh, that's going to need more work. Um, of course I've got more coal nodes out, out there, but um, you know, I've got other plans for them. Uh, so to merge up coal and sulphur, uh, that will take some time. Um, uh, so in the meantime, uh, I was just enjoying the majesty of uh, my first somewhat semi-decent looking factory, sort of. Still needs a bit of work here, I just found something I can do here. Uh, just pop that there. Tidy it up a little bit. It's looking not too bad. Uh, so I did a couple of things in the meantime. Uh, just set this back to 100% um, since I don't need steel beams for the um, space elevator stuff anymore. So I've got a, the regular 6 overflow popping out here. I uh, just set up a storage box here for um, overflow because there's a 20 steel pipe per minute overflow uh, that I've got. I uh, still haven't done anything with the 60 screw overflow that I've got in the motor factory. Um, that's still just sitting there backing up, saving me a tiny bit of power every now and again when it backs up. Um, but yeah, I've still got a little bit of electricity to, uh, to play with on my um, 16 coal generators uh, and two bio burners sitting here doing nothing. Uh, also tidied up around here as well too, so I've got rid of the assemblers that are feeding into here for the automated wiring and versatile framework. I uh, got rid of my biomass biofuel setup. Um, what I'm thinking with that screw overflow, as it turns out, I don't have enough space. I could run a belt up to the roof of the motor factory with a um, an awesome sink up there for 60 screws per minute. I could, but I feel like I'm going to need that space at some point. So we'll see. So I've just got a box here full of um, full of biofuel. Um, and uh, and the other thing I did is just maxed out the uh, smart plating um, at 250% just to chug that along. Uh, so I've got a little bit here in my inventory actually, so I'll just load that in. So I'm hoping to start this off. Collected some sulfur, collected some coal uh, by going through the sulfur tree a little bit in the man and then hopefully once I've done everything I can in there um, and maybe one or two other things as well like this purple slug um, I'll have enough smart plating to send the space elevator up and um, get started on I believe it is oil which I've got no idea where it is in the northern northern provinces well, not northern provinces Warhammer. Uh, Northern Forests. So anyway, let's get started. Um, power slugs, I need 25 modular frames. So once again, I haven't prepared at all. 
unfortunately I've got a whole bunch here from um, Space Elevator stuff. Those modular frames are still ticking over, over there. Um, at, a, at its regular pace. Uh, but anyway, uh, so we can finish off the power slug tree. Uh, every time I find a purple slug now, I can get three power shards. That's good. And that is my first tree finished. Cool. All right, now sulfur. Um, let's unlock black powder. Sweet. All right, what have we got here? Uh, I need a another 25 modular frames. What do you know? Just grab 50 more. Bounce back over. Hello, Mr. Ma'am, Mrs. Ma'am. Um, what was I doing? Ah, the sulfur tree, yeah. <laughs> Alright, experimental power generation. So I'm going to need a couple of hard drives to, to chuck in here. Uh, for compact coal and turbo fuel. I've got no idea about that. I never reached that part. Uh, but compact coal, I believe, is more efficient than regular coal. So could be something to look at. Uh, but anyway, um, what do I need here? So a total of 150 black powder. A total of 150 black powder. So let's get chugging. Black powder, it should be here somewhere. Wait, did I scroll past it? Why is it not showing up? Can you not make. Ah, uh, is it equipment workshop? It is. Alright. So, while that's doing that, uh, I suppose I could chuck it in a. set up a constructor. Uh, 150 needed. Is it going? Is it constructor or assembler? No, it's an assembler because it's two products going into one. Yes, of course. Uh, black powder. Alright, uh, if I just. Um, one coal, one sulfur, this will give me 200. I don't know what it caps out at, like what the maximum per stack is, so I'll just put a box down. Alright, there we go, that'll, that'll do that for me. Uh, now it said I needed encased industrial beams for something. Um, not that, I've got everything I need there. 50 encased industrial beams. Uh, which I don't have there. I'll just run up here and grab that while that assembler makes me some black powder. Oh, I've got a player crate. Two rods. Ah, that'll be from the uh, lookout tower. Yeah, I also just went around and collected all any player. I think I had about four four player crates sitting around doing um, showing up on the uh, HUD, and the HUD. Uh, that was sort of starting to annoy me. So uh, yeah. Anyway. Uh, so I just need 28 more of that. Hopefully I've got 28 here by now. Yeah, I've got 38, so... Do a little bit. Uh, Nautilus Detonator and Nautilus. Parachutes either too. Um, Nobelist detonator. What do I need for that? An object scanner. Right, I can make one here. All 
Alright, that's pretty cool. Uh, this extra hand slot is going to be handy. I don't need the rebar dome. Uh, so I'm going to put that away. The Xeno Basher works fine just enough as it is. Um, so the Nobilis Detonator can go there. Let me switch those to around. There we go. Alright, and Nobilisks, uh, which is basically uh, C4. So I've got five bits of C4 pretty much. Cool. Let's put that away. Alright, next. Uh, 100 black powder for that extra hand slot. And actually, most of this can just go straight into the trash. I don't really need that. I'll take that AI limiter. Now, I don't think I've got personal boxes anywhere except for all that steel pipe that's up there. 62. No, you don't. How quickly can I? Uh, hang on, you crafted over here, don't you? Sorry. Uh, black powder. There we go. It's got to get to 100. There we are. And now we're going to have an extra. Hand slot. So we're stuck on plastic, plastic and hard drives here. Uh, an extra hand slot. It's a shame it doesn't let you carry around like a like just one stack like your main hand. It kind of makes sense, I suppose. Uh, I suppose. Uh, now, haven't I unlocked like the gas mask and all that sort of stuff? Uh, or was that in... That's in the mycelia tree, isn't it? Gas novelist, fabric, alien organisms. I need to go out and find some berries. Uh, quartz. Powerful shockwave. I don't know what you would use that for. Scannable object hard drives. Now I could do that. I can handcraft oscillators. Might do that in my own time. Radar tower. What is. Resource node locations, terrain data, flora and fauna, and notable signal readings. Hmm. Oh, hey. Seems like a lot of work of handcrafting. Uh, gas mask. Uh, must be in the sulfur tree, because that mycelia line is pretty much... fabric yeah, I'm pretty much stuck on everything except uh, plastic now gas novelist yeah I don't really need that yeah I can make power switches I don't really need them though um, plastic is where it's at all right Okay, um, well, that's pretty much everything. I'll just make, uh, all this black powder and steel pipe. It's two for two. Alright, get going. Make me a whole bunch of novelists. 
Uh, Alright, let's go and have a look at the space elevator. Uh, smart plating. Hopefully I've got 137 built up by now. Eighty. Right. Might have ran. Ooh. Yeah, you didn't run out of stuff, but it was close. Right, so basically, that time I need to fill in the same amount again. Fifty-seven. Uh, nah, not too bad. Uh, so what do I, this area here, um, I've still got a miner doing nothing, that one, that's all going to get a rework, I've just been holding off on that because it's still doing good stuff for me at the moment, producing modular frames and reinforced iron plates, um, so I've got, basically I've got one pure iron node to spare. What do I need again for scannable hard drive? What was that? What tree was that under? Yeah. A hundred motors, an object scanner, and crystal oscillators. Hmm. How long does it take to make a crystal oscillator? And what do you need? Quartz crystal. I need a hundred. So I need to do this fifty times. It's actually done in a manufacturer. Uh, quartz crystal. Um, yeah, you know what? I'm going to set up a dodge, a dodgy setup here. I've got access to my quartz. I've got the, yeah, cool. Just make sure I've got the inventory space. <laughs> Should check these things before I uh, head out. So, a whole bunch of quartz crystal. Uh, Required 36, so 360 times 5. Uh, it's 1800. 1800 quartz crystal. Uh, one constructor. Crystal, chuck it in. Oh, how much does it give me? It takes five to make. It takes five to make three, so I'm gonna get six. Twenty sixty, and I need eighteen hundred. Yeah, that's too much. Alright, so I'm not doing that on camera. Uh, on record. Yeah, just put, put that away. Put a personal box down. Uh, oh, actually, just put a... Semi-automate this and... Um, do that in my spare time. Put a box down to feed in the raw quartz. There we are. And that actually freed up quite a bit of space in there, which means I can put away, uh, put that away. I don't need regular fabric. Um, yeah, and you will make a novelist for me. Get rid of you. Oh, yeah. 
a good feat of belting. Do -do -do. Oh yeah, cool. I'll put you in there. Right, and you'll tick over for me. Um, that in between the end of this episode and the next, I'll have enough to. I'll have a hundred crystal oscillators, basically, to unlock that um, hard drive scanning. I feel like I need that. I need that screw recipe. That's what I want. I mean, I can make them out of steel beam, but actually, I do have six steel beam overflowing right now. Ooh, I can reduce and still have one steel beam overflow. This is interesting. pump out 260 screws per minute off one steel beam, off five steel beams. Interesting. Okay. Mini screw factory. And because I know what's coming with uh, heavy modular frames and that and them, so if I can stack up a whole bunch of screws uh, so I still want mm, I'll still get the overflow from there so If it's there, set it up here. Oh, this is interesting. Uh, this will help me going into uh, tiers um, five and six a little bit. A little bit. Uh, alternate screws, steel beam. Now I need a smart splitter. You are a smart splitter, so... Right, it's actually going to back up there soon. So, I could... just put a regular splitter here. It needs to be a smart splitter. Feeding in from there, right, so center is overflow. And left is a uh, steel beam. Is still being cool. I'm going to have to cut this belt and put it down again. Put that in there. Right. Fantastic. It will overflow eventually. You will get six. You'll get six, and you'll eventually back up this belt, and then so, and then one will eventually go in there, and then eventually the whole lot is going to back up from that being full. But I might put another box in front of it just to keep industrial beams going. Uh, right, and industrial storage box just here for now. Some bloody weird noises. Just 
need some power. There you go. Sixty per minute. Whoa! That needs a Mark III belt to pump it out properly. Yeah. What's going on? So eighteen that ticked over. So. Sixteen. Okay, well that'll eventually get down to zero backlog in the machine of screws each time. Two sixty per minute. The belt's two seventy. Right, so that'll keep flowing. Um, that will fill up fast. So. Fill them up, fill two up, because I'm sure that uh, this will need to spit out along here at some point. Uh, all right, cool. Well, that was something done. Um, thinking on the spot. There we go. Getting 260 screws per minute. If I can, f oh, I've still got that 60 overflow there. So technically, I've got. Oh, is there a way to get a belt to feed? Into, even just into that one there without it being no 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 by my standards this is pretty organized oh, I actually jumped out the window before to save a bit of time by my standards this is actually pretty all pretty organized um, so let's not Let's not make it disorganized. Uh, <laughs> All right, you're actually out. Uh, so how much did I get? Uh, what do I need? I need an 1800. It's not much. Fuck, it takes forever. But I should be able to send the space elevator up now. Uh, yeah. Oh, hang on. 57, 50... Yeah, I can send it up now. Cool, let's go. And for the third time, I'm going to unlock tiers 5 and 6. And hopefully I can progress past tier 5. Fantastic. All right. Um, well, I'm not going to need you for quite some time. Didn't give me a player crate, did it? I can see. No, I got inventory space. Good. All right. Well, I'll keep this ticking over um, on my own time. But for now, let's check out tier five. Oh, have I got any tickets? No. Yes, I've got two. Um, some smart plating that I'll probably just sing. Oh, I'll just put it here. No, I can't put it there. I right, forget it. Let's have a look. Oil processing. Uh, oil extractor, refinery, valve, plastic, rubber, fuel, petroleum, coke, second ones. Scan for crude oil and new shop products. Right. 
Unless there's some... Ooh, gas mask. Ah, this is where you unlock the gas mask. It's here. Three extra inventory slots. Industrial... Oh, computers, adaptive control units, modular engines. Fuck. Tier 6. Expanded power... Inf yeah, so I never got up to here. In the... In my first playthrough, I got to this and I was like, Ugh, fuck. Look, the way I was set up, it was just horrendous, and I didn't know much about the game. In the desert, I got to here, and I was like, the way I was playing it was no good, so I'm, I'm set up pretty well now, I think. Never unlocked the jetpack. Um, although, in the grasslands, I did find a hog with the jetpack on him when I got to, like, tier 4. Uh, that was pretty cool. I just didn't have any, anything to fuel it with. Uh, alternative fluid transport packager. Yeah. Okay. Cool. This is all. This is all good stuff. So yeah, that's selected. Cool. Just need some copper sheeting. Um, let's just put this away. Uh, free up some inventory space. Copper sheeting and 50 motors. This, that's actually getting on my nerves. And I haven't tested out billboards yet either. Just a tiny bit of extra space there so I can stop tripping on the man. For fuck's sake, who is doing construction at 10 o'clock at night? It is a bit of a flea bag motel, but I didn't think it was that flea bag. Fifty motors. Uh, I'm going to take a hundred and fifty with me, and uh, uh, thing. Oops. Save me a bit of time. Rip, rip. There we go. In and out. Just need to get over there. This asshole trying to get into my fucking factories again. Walking through walls. Uh, I'll fill up my inventory slots with copper sheeting. Uh, I've got a little bit to spare for myself. Any tickets I've got now here. Oh, I can dump that smart plug in. Uh, can I? Is there a way to do that? Uh, not unless I put a split in. Uh, forget it. Uh, okie dokie. You're filling up. Oh, by taking that out, uh, that now means the cable hasn't filled up. Every single machine in there is now going to fire. Oh, but we can now unlock oil processing. The beginnings of tier 5. N50 motors. <laughs> Alright, cool. Here we go. Bloop. Milestone reached. Oil acquisition and refining unlocked. Oil based products can now be made. The byproducts of oil refinement can be used after further processing, as seen in the refinery. Caution 
This is a reminder to minimize the chance of expiration during out-of-base activities. Caution. Minimize the chance of expiration. Dying. Uh, so, refineries. So, uh, oil extractors. I'll probably need say three uh, refineries if I just say four um, I might need one water extractor logistics uh, just in case I might need some of that Maybe a couple of fluid buffers. Alright, so just for that as a base, uh, looks like I just need encased industrial beams. with me. The smart plating, I've got to get that out of my fucking inventory. I'm going to let it go. Uh, let's have a look at my power here. I'm only consuming that much and the copper factory just fired up, so yeah, I can let it go. Quartz is connected, it's not doing anything. Uh, right. Let's put a personal box down for shit I don't need to take with me, which is that smart plating. Two of them, black powder I don't need. Take that just in case I need a chainsaw. I don't think I need any silica. I feel like that's way too much wire. Plates, reinforce iron plates, I might need to get more of. Some rotors, beams and pipes. Beams and pipes. steel pipe here. Take 600 there. Uh, rear some more reinforced iron plates. And some concrete. plates. Uh, put you back, get two fulls. Uh, still got some spare rotors over here, so we'll grab a hundred. There we go. And I could use some more concrete. Iron rods. Oh fuck, I've got way too many iron rods. That's fine. Still haven't fallen off the cliff yet, I don't think, so. That is good. And keep one slot empty. There we go. Okay, cool. Um, I 
South or east would be nice. North. North. Impure, impure, normal. Impure, normal. Probably temp, yeah. Impure. Okay, uh, to the bottom it is. Uh, where am I going? Here. Xeno Zapper, Xeno Basher. Uh, I'm gonna do that scan again. Constantly scan for it. And I could drag the uh, yeah, I can drag the power down from down here. Uh, cable, yeah, I've got enough cable. Uh, hang on. I still haven't got my distances right yet, like to the point where I could just look at the map and go, oh, okay, so that's going to require. At that distance, that will require roughly 300 cable to drag a power line out. Um, oh, I forgot to slide. Look, I'm really sorry about this, uh, that tapping noise and hammering and whatnot, but what, what can I do? Sorry. I'm trying to record and... While I'm away for work, and this is going on. Uh, cable is over here. Alright, uh, so I'm going to bin a whole bunch of that iron rod. Your way. Alright, 1200 should be enough. Cave was a little bit of a disappointment. Oh uh, yeah, 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 yeah. So it might be the last episode or the episode before, one or two episodes before this. And I was saying, well, oh, shit, fucking a window fell out from one of the hotel rooms above me. That's probably what's getting fixed now. <laughs> I just realised that. In full health, yep. Docking station, hub. Oh, it's this way. Okay. Is this it? Hang on. Uh, let me just put that there. I think that's it. There it is. 
We're here. Alright, that didn't take too long at all. It's not guarded. Oh, yes it is. It just spawned out of here. Killed it before the fucking one more space for Hatcher remains. Uh, see about that. Another Hatcher. Ah, some of the bees came out. I better play it safe. Timing right. What are you? Impure. There's the other one over here. What are you? Impure. Oh, this is going to be a good one. Mm, but it's downhill. Alright, just to start with, uh, I will accept impure and I can just overclock them if needed. Now put your weapon away. Um, personal storage box. Store that and that. So just make sure I've got enough storage space to basically make sure that everything, as I cut a tree down, uh, everything in the vicinity also goes with it. It'll save me a bit of time clearing out. Um, is that going to save? It? Nope. Uh, save me a bit of time picking up all the grass and shit. Can these be cut? No, they don't get cut. Okay. It's just like on Earth. We found oil. Cut it all down. Well, those trees are going to leave and probably leave all that for now. Alright. So basically everything from here across. Oh, there's a little dog there. One of those rat dogs. the other deposit there. Well, they're pretty symmetrical. So it must be auto saving. There we go. Alright, if that's the world grid, I'll start there. Too 
Now... Probably want to use two metre here. Um, world grid from the highest point. Highest point appears to be... I can't really fucking see with all the leaves here, but... five meters cool so I'll get the head lift from so no need for water pumps um, all right that's handy um, good uh, let's get rid of all that I was just using a rough guide that's all that is The factory floor will obviously be a little bit higher, so all right, I'll do two meters on the deposits. On the trick there too, uh, if you press, if you hold control before you click on an item in your inventory and you want to just dispose, it mass deletes, except that time where it didn't work. But yeah, anyway, uh, a few iron rods, no uh, fuck em. I think I'll get some iron rods, yeah, fucking player crate, god damn it. Don't like playing cards. Get rid of them. There we go. All right. Uh, time to begin. So, well, I don't need. Um, I need a water extract. Ooh, what if I need water? Fuck. Where am I going to pump water from if I need water? Is there water out this way? Yes. Now, if you look on the map. That's not deep enough. Oh, this is fucked. There's no water here. Where's the other crude oil? That's the normal one, but I still have to pump up. Oh, pure. Do the mountain ranges block your scanner signal? Because there are a whole bunch over here. I can give you this marker. Hmm. That's interesting. Alright, oil extractor. Let's get you down. Uh, where do I want you? Probably facing this way, I would say.
Let's clear some of these rocks. We have to get rid of this vegetation. Uh, it's driving me fucking mental already. on these two lines here. Okay, it's level. That's fine. Now that I'm on a foundation, uh, let's put down a box and stop the leading shit. Uh, yeah, rods and plates. There you go. You watch. I'll probably I'll probably end up fucking short. This I can't get. That's all. That's all right. I'm an environmentalist. I'll leave some vegetation around. All right. What do you give me? Uh, you only give me 60 cubic meters uh, on impure nodes, so yeah, you yeah. 40 megawatts. Fuck, man. Uh, okay. question is, do I have the pipes made up into one pipe and then I split them somewhere? Just sort of have a factory that goes left and right. Because um, the head lift currently is sitting flat, so... Uh, that's almost going to get certainly get in the way. Alright, look, uh, I've got 10 meters head lift, so. That's a.
this appears to be higher than that hill just there. Let's find out. That way, please. All the way, all the way. by 11 one. yeah six and here one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven might as well make it six by twelve really by 12 it is. Six by 12 and no need for a water pump for a pipeline pump. <laughs> um, we need to drag the power out. Ah, fuck, I stole all the iron rods. Straight jumping, four meter. Where's your power node? On the other side, of course. Oh, just too long. capacity currently 872 yeah that copper factory will start slowing down soon the iron line I didn't cut the smart plating so that will continue till the end of time until the box is full um, I actually can't remember if smart plating goes into one of these things or not so Right, so I'm going to get 120. Uh, did I forget? Well, I, it's 200 plastic and 200 rubber that I need for a whole bunch of stuff, so... Uh, for the, I think it's the very next milestone.
That works. Doesn't look too wanky. That's fine. Um, what did I decide on? 6 by 12? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. This one. So we've got 120 extracted oil to play with. Up you come. Right, so that's basically that's going to be the layout. Eventually I might need pumps, eventually I might need to go somewhere else to get more oil. But for now it is... fit in their own no they don't they're slightly just like an assembler they're slightly bigger so if you're there so I'm losing one that might be better Pre-plan this now a little bit. Uh, it might be better to go this way. And that's the middle piece. Cool. And give it one gap over here. Yeah. Sort of came out. Of, no, I don't know. I don't like that. Fucking pipes. Something I really haven't gotten uh, the hang of.
do need to leave enough space for like conveyor belts and that to feed into. Or I could just go straight down. Yeah, let's just go straight down the guts and just use them. this up. There's your power node at the front. Okay. Um, Wrong toolbar. So if you make plastic, and if you make rubber, things provide head lift refinery uh, the extractors do but do the refineries provide head lift they do I wonder if you can actually cheat the head lift rules then go eight Oil extractor. Head lift ten. Uh, yeah, head lift ten meters. So you can get your head lift up to the refinery, and then the refinery provides another ten meters all the way up, and then you never need a fucking um, pump in your life. Uh, let me turn that off. Actually, I don't need um, this on uh, pumps. And what was the other thing? Uh, fluid buffers. Yeah, you'll never need a pump in your life. That came out a little bit wrong. Uh, okay, so... Oh. Need some fluid buffers. Storage box, so yeah, just a line there that'll do. per minute. Oh, 
Okay, I'll just leave it set up like this for now, I suppose, and um, yeah, when I come back, I'm going to be I'm going to be at the hub, and I'm going to be carrying 400 plastic and 400 rubber. Um, just as a heads up, I'm going to let time go by a little bit here. And uh, yeah, there we go. Uh, I'm into oil. I'm an oil baron. I've already got 70 rubber. Nice. And these are... From memory, um, and I never did this, but I think you use all this fuel here that's gathered up, you then refine it into, so that's heavy oil residue going in into, the, into both buffers, uh, you then stick it back into a refiner to make residual and to make this no no fuck oh. how to make that uh, and then you can just have an awesome sink and have petroleum coke going in and you can just make plastic and rubber until the end of time. Uh, but yeah, I'm assuming that there's recipes down the line that sort of feed into each other a little bit more so but yeah anyway there we go. Um, might be a bit of a long one here I wasn't keeping track of time so sorry about that. Um, but there in the end uh, did a bit of sulfur research and uh, sent up the space elevator, unlocked oil, tiers 5 and 6, and we're now making plastic and rubber. Ooh, the little things pop out from the side here. Cool. Uh, so let me know what you think. Um, of course, I'm pretty much heading into inexperienced territory again for the third time, except this time I'm going to try my hardest to make it work and progress, um, send that space elevator up one more time, uh, we'll see, we'll see. Anyway, thanks for watching, um, let me know what you think, anything I should start or stop doing, uh, please let me know, and um, hopefully that'll make things go smoother in the future, and uh, we'll see you in the next one. Cheers for watching, bye. Uh, there we go. Whew.